Since Windows 10 has gone to end of life, more people are switching to Microsoft's next spiral OS, Windows 11, or going to a different OS like Mac OS. But there's another option, Linux. Linux is the best option for your personal desktop computers. So today, I will tell you why you should switch to Linux, and why it's better than any other operating system to ever exist. But first, we need to know, why should you use Linux compared to Windows? If you used Windows like how I used to do, you probably had to deal with some automatic oh, updates, or some random bugs, or god forbid Bitwalker. But some features do make it appealing to someone like yourself. It's easy to use, and it's pretty simple, and everybody has used Windows at least once. If that was for their job, school, ATM, whatever. That's also why uh, it's so popular. So Windows is not the worst, but that also does not make it the best. It's just average. And if you want to get something better, or not average, you will get Linux, because let's be honest, you'll probably get bored of average eventually. So Linux is like something new and wacky and you can do everything in it. So that's why I'm here to tell you Linux first. First is money. Since Linux is free, you have to pay nothing at all to install any distro at all. But the savings go a lot deeper. Due to Linux being more lightweight, it also supports all the hardware on like Windows 11, thanks to that TPM 2.0 requirement. The thing is, is that those TPM chips have always started being used around 2017 to 2018, and CPUs before that are still powerful, and if you pair that with a good GPU, you can get modern AAA video games to work, but not Windows 11. And speaking of heavy use of jobs like video editors, they also work fine on Linux. Like for example, I want a pretty decent laptop with 8GB of RAM and a decent AMD CPU. And it works really fine on Linux due to the less broke compared to Windows. Second is choice. So Linux is open source. There are many distros to choose from, made by different people. Unlike Windows, where it's whatever version Microsoft wants to support at the moment, which is only Windows 11 right now. But in the Linux world, if you don't like how your current distro feels or it gets unsupported, you can just install a new one and test it out. Of course, you should back up your data first. There are also distros for Linux noobs like Linux Mint, Pop OS, and Ubuntu, just to name you a few, that give you a desktop experience similar to Windows or Mac. But there's also distros for more advanced users like Arch, Gentoo, and Linux from Scratch. The thing is, is that most distros are based on Debian, but there's also some based on Red Hat, also Fedora, Arch, and others. You can tell what distro you're on based on the package manager. Debian uses .deb files and apt. Fedora slash open source uses RPM files, DNF, or YUM. And Arch uses Pac-Man and packages for the AUR. There's also Flatpak, Snap, and App Image that also works on all distros no matter what. Third is privacy. If you did not know, Microsoft and the rest of big tech is spying on you to collect data for the targeted ad network or for law enforcement. And one of the biggest ways is your operating system. Due to Linux being open source, it is privacy respecting because that's how open software is. Except Audacity. Of course, it's based on Disho. Like, say something like Debian will be good for your privacy, Cubes OS is insane. And when so us, we'll give all your data to the North Korean government. Yeah, that's a real distro. But those spiral distros are rare to come by. Thankfully, a part of it is also based on what programs you install. Like, just because you're Linux doesn't mean you're privacy free. You can also install spyware programs like Chrome, Discord, and use websites like Google or Facebook. But you can also use privacy respecting programs like WeBlayWall for really anything false, and websites like open source front ends to popular websites. Fourth, is customizability. To the Linux being open source, you can make it look like anything you want, even Windows. You can do this through customizing the desktop, or how we like to call it, rising to your specific workflow. And you can make it beautiful through software like Hyperland, or Act Free, or DWM. Hell, I rice my desktop a little bit. It's not much, but it does fit my workflow. The best desktop environment to go with Yes, you do need to pick a bigger desktop environment for licensing is KDE or XFCE. Last is software compatibility. 
This is more of an open source point, but also applies to Linux. A lot of software that runs on Linux also runs on Mac, Windows, and even FreeBSD sometimes. So, if you don't want to, or you can't use Linux for whatever reason, at least I know that most of my software will still work. And, for you, most software that the average Windows user runs, not you Adobe, is compatible with Linux. Like Chrome, for example, you can install that web browser the same way that you do on Windows and get the same experience. Yeah, there are a little bit of web browsers on there, but hey, it's Linux. You can do what you want. So, I hope I taught you a lot how to use Linux. So, someone on a live USB or a virtual box and try it today. Also, I will still post real funny videos sometimes. Maybe. Okay, maybe not that much. Okay, that's it. Goodbye.